Good afternoon, grade threes. Okay, today is Wednesday, as you know, and it's the 22nd of July, 2020. Okay, we are going to look at yesterday's homework. Can we have your sentences, please? I want you to raise your hand and give me your sentences. I want a sentence with three, and I would like you to use at least seven words. Thank you, Musa. Thank you for such a quick response. Give me your sentence. Um, the tree is nice and green and beautiful. Wonderful. Timber. Can I have your sentence, please? Timber. In school. In school, we only have four subjects. Good. All right, now, who else? Come raise a hand, otherwise I'm going to just call out a name. Felicity, thank you. Now you can make any sentence on garden. Quite a lot. Give me a long sentence on garden. Felicity, I want to um God my grandpa, my grandpa loves garden my grandpa loves garden it's only four words come you great three give me a long sentence the garden has beautiful flowers and it is not it is beautiful Okay, but now you've used beautiful twice. You see, we have to think. When we make a sentence and we want to have more than seven words, and we have to think about it. Okay, let's hear. Ntemba, can I? Matlotlo, okay. Matlotlo, give me yours. The garden, the garden has beautiful flowers, nice fruits and vegetables. Very nice. That's a good sentence, okay. Now that you're so good at it, can you give me a sentence on hospital, Matloto? Okay. I go to the hospital when I'm sick. When I'm very, very sick. Okay, that's nine words. Thank you. Good. Thank you, Matloto. Right, I see Musa Sanders up again. Supermarket. Musa? Supermarket starts everything. The supermarket starts everything. The supermarket sells everything. It's five words. I want seven at least. Um, two words at the end. Give me two. Like everything like, then you can name two things. You can say the supermarket sells everything like, and you can name a few things. Come. Supermarket sells everything that I like. That's a? That I like them. That, that's why you like it. Okay, good. Thank you. All right, Fratis, can you see now? Um. When we make sentences, you have to think of it to make it longer than seven, eh? And that's where you are now. Remember, you are finished with your grade one shoes and you finish with grade two. In grade three, we are going to make a bit longer sen sen sentences. But the sentences must be sensible, eh? It must be sensible sentences. Okay. Right, let's... Today's work. Today, we are going to look at joining words like with the word because or with and okay now we're going to practice this here are a few sentences we are going to match them and put them together by using the word because okay now the first one is he walked across the road because the robot was green right chevelle you are going to make me the second one Right. Morning, ma'am. Good morning, Chevelle. It's Good actually morning. afternoon, ma'am. Wow, we forgot afternoon, eh? Okay. Okay, Chevelle, if you're going to give me that, I'm going to 
put my pen on. Right. She took out her recipe book because... Find the answer for that one. Um, I can say she wanted to bake a cake. Yeah, I think you're right. She wanted to bake a cake. So we are connecting it with that one. We are using joining words with the word because. Thank you, Cheryl. Yeah. Right, can you see where? You're going to do the next one. Hi, man. Hi. Can you read it yourself? I was going to play soccer, so I took my soccer Sweetie? boots to school. Yeah. yeah, that's good, but look at the sentence in the blue here. Yeah. I did not know. You must do that one. You must find a match for the one on the screen. Oh, yeah, I see. I've, I've skipped one. I'm sorry. So say it again. I was? I was going to play soccer. So I, my, I took my soccer boots to school. Good. That was. So you cannot play soccer without your soccer boots. Thank you, Felicia. Right now, are they? Your turn. Okay. Right. I don't know which days we had netball practice, so I went to I I at the notice board. Yes, I did not know which day we had a netball practice, so. I looked at the notice board. So we're going to connect it with the word so. That's good. Thank you, Ave. Right, Lusandu. Lusandu. Hello, ma'am. Hello, okay, ma next one. I. I went to bed late and I could. Not wake up in the morning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that will teach you. We shouldn't go to bed too late. Ne? Okay. So, right. Thank you. Hello. September. Okay, I've, I've skipped blessing. Sorry, I've jumped blessing. Come, blessing, your turn now. Come on. We went to the sports field. Because we are, we were playing a match. Yes, we are playing a match. Yeah. Yes, the match for that one. Okay, thank you, Blessing. Now we're going to do in Timber. In Timber? I had nothing to read, so... I went to the library. Good for you. That's a good choice. Thank you, Nintendo. Okay, I need to go up again. You see, Musa, it's yours one, the next one. Um, which one? You must follow the next one. I nothing to read was the last one. Then you must go. She went. She went. Mom, I don't know the word. Okay, she went to the clinic because she was sick, feeling sick. Was feeling sick. Good. All right. Now, great trees. Look, I'm going to circle some words. We've connected this sentence with the word because, okay? Yeah, we connected it with the word so. We joined it. Again, so with this one. And yeah, we used the word and. And then yeah, we used so again. And there we used because again. 
and because. Now, the words because, so, and and are joining words. We use them to join sentences. So remember that when you want to make a sentence next time and you want to make it longer as the way I've asked you to do, then you can always put in the word because or so or and. That helps you to extend your sentences. Good. Now we are going to read our sight words. That's exciting. Sight words reading? Do you need me to read it first or shall one of you just start right off? To do to read it. Let's see if you if you're brave enough, raise your hand and you start reading it by yourself. Aha, Ari, Ari. Okay, start reading it, please. Between, during, begin, began, bit, bite, blue, blow, come, came, drink, drunk. Fantastic. Okay, Matlotlo, your turn. Mm, hello, ma'am. Come, Matoto, you don't want to, okay? Between, Let's get... Between. Okay. Bite. Come. It's not bite, it's bit, ne? Bit. 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 Between. Bit. Come. Next one. Came. Drunk. Drunk. Blow. Oh, sweetheart. Can teachers help you with something? Matlotlo? When you yes, read something, read it in the correct direction. Start at the first line and read from your left to your right. Okay, because you are jumping around. Not good. Right, start with between. Between. Good. Yeah. Say during. Okay, begin. Be begin. Begin. Began. began. Okay, now that one. With which one? The one that dot is on. Can you see? Bite. No, that's bit. Bit. Yes, bit and that's bite. And now? Blue. Yes, that one. Hello. Good. Come. Came. Drink. Drink. Thank you. Okay. Now, Felicewe. Felicewe, can you read the phonic words for, to us, please? Yes, ma'am. Between. During, begin, begin, bit, bite, blue, blow, come, came, trick. Drink, drunk, drunk. Thank you. Okay. Lathandu? Yes, ma'am. Okay, read it, please. Between, during, begin, began, bit, light, blue, blow, come, came, drink, drunk. Nice and clearly. Okay. Right. There's a few questions coming up on these words. Okay. Let me see. Um, Kupano. Kupano. Can you hear me? Kupano, what is the yesterday word for bite? What is the yesterday? What is the past tense for bite? <laughs> Do you know? Hello, ma'am. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Okay, answer then. What is the yesterday word for bite?
Do you know? Oh, come on. I can't hear any answer here. Okay, Ari, what is the yesterday word for bite? Bit. Bit, okay, I'm just going to do that. That's what I want. Can you see? So every day it's bite, but yesterday we bit. Can you see the change? Great trees, watch, note of, take note. Every day bit, yesterday bite. Okay, thank you, Ari. Now go, okay, Kupano, okay, Felicewe. Okay, you think you know some something? Felicewe? I'm unmuting you. Okay, if you now. The okay. everyday word for began. Today I flow. No, no, listen to me. I want you to tell me the everyday word for began. The began means past tense. Give me the present tense for began. Begin. Begin. Can you guys see what I'm trying to do here? I'm mixing and I'm jumping from yesterday to today and I want to show you some changes in the words. Okay, thank you. Copano, you're going to give me the next one. Copano? I can't get hold of you here. I'm going to try one more. Copano, one more time, one chance still left. You don't? Okay. No, ma'am. Hello. Right. Give me the past tense word for blow. Blow. Blue. Blue. Yes. So every day blow, yesterday blue. Good. Thank you, Kupano. Welcome, okay. ma'am. Okay. Musa. Musa. I'm unmuting you. Okay. Give me the everyday word for drunk. The everyday word, not the present tense for drunk. Did you drink. say drink? Yes, because yesterday I drank. But yesterday I actually you said actually we drank. So drunk is also past. So the present tense is drink. Okay, and the last one is the easy one, Ntemba. You can I ask you then, Ntemba Aki. I'm muting you. What is the past tense word for come? Came. Ah, that's the easy one. We use it a lot. Came. Okay. Here we are. We've just revised present tense and past tense. Okay. Right. Okay, children, now we are going to read something. I want you to take a good look at this. Who can tell me what is this? Who can tell me what is this? If you know what this, what, what am I going to read to you now? What kind of thing is that? Who knows? Are they? Email. It's an email. Well done. Okay. Now let's see what is on this email. We start there. It says two. Can you see that two? Jim at school.com. Okay. That's the letter is going to. It's from bongi at library.com. And the date is 1st of September 2015, and there's the time. And now we're going to read it. Dear, dear Jim, wow, we just got your email. We are all using the computer in the library. We miss you too. You are, a very, you are in a very big school, so you are learning to swim. That's so cool. We hope we can come and visit you and see your school. Maybe you can. Maybe we can see you before Christmas. Bye, Bongi, Sam, and and Jabu. And here they are sitting in front of the computer. Okay, right. And then when they finished, can you see here? Then you click and you send it. All right. Now let's see some if you can answer the questions. All right. Okay, uh, uh, Ari. Ari, who wrote back? 
Ongi and Sam and Chabu. Well done. Okay, that was good. Okay, and Ave, on what day did she write back? Um, Sept 1 September 2015. Well done. Okay. What, at what time did she write back? Who knows that one? Raise your hand. I don't want to ask the same children. Only if your hands is up. 14.45. Okay. All right. What time? Good. 14.45. Yes. And now, where were the children sitting? In the library. In the library. Well done. You have listened well. Okay. Now, we are now at tenses again. And you remember the ones that we just practiced with our phonic words? Now we've got tenses, past tense, and present tense. And here you're going to help me again. You're going to help us with giving answers here. All right, let's see who's going to be first. Tenses. Okay. Copano. Last month, Jim. You choose a word to finish the sentence. Kupano? Yes, ma'am. Okay, finish that one. Give the first one to us. You have to choose between moved and move. Start with last month. He moved. Yes, he moved. So is moved present or past tense? Past tense. Okay, we know that's past. I'm going to... I'm going to write it here, yeah, past tense, okay? Past. Past. P. Okay, thank you. So, and we choose moved, that one. Okay. Thank you, Kupano. Felicia, ready for the second one? Yes, okay. Yes. You have to choose between eats and ate. Jim, his lunch. Eats and ate. Eats his and lunch. Eat. Good. And which tense is that? Man? Which tense is eats? The present or past? <clears throat> eats. Eats. Ah! Mm, looks like a number one. Is it the present tense or the past tense? In... Do you know? Present. It's present, yes. I'm just gonna mm -hmm. use, I'm just gonna use press for present. Okay, present tense. Good. Thank you, Felicia. Now let's see. I wanna move down. Okay. Chevelle. Okay, I'm unmuting you. You are going to you're gonna give me the yesterday. You're going to choose one of these. He, he to school. Which one are you going to choose? He. Okay. He walks to school. He walks to school. So that's that one name. Eh? And walks is which tense? Present. Present. And can you go one up, please? Because we've skipped one. Yesterday he, if you have used to, which word are he you He ate. He ate, because that's the past tense. Okay. Past. Okay. Right. Now we are going to the next one. Yesterday, Jim what? I'm going to ask someone else. Ryan, I'm finished with Chevelle now. Ryan, it's your turn. Ryan. Yes, ma'am. Okay, give me that one. Where we yes. say yesterday, Jim. Yesterday, Jim walked. Walked to school. And walk is which tense? Past tense. Past, okay. P A for past, okay. Right now, thank you, Ryan. Kupano, your turn again. I'm using Kupano a lot of time today. Right, Tandy up the book. Which tense? Tandy up the book. 
Peter picked up a book. Is it pick or picks? Pick or picks? Pigs. Yes, that's correct. It's picks. It's and which tense is that? Uh, present. Yes, present. You guys must be in good practice with present and past tense, ne? Yes, right, and now give me the past tense for that. Yesterday. Yesterday, picked up a book. Yeah, yesterday Tandy picked up a book, and that's our past tense. Okay, B A for past. Thank you. That was a quick, quick, quick revision on present and past tense again. Now, here we're getting on with joining words, conjunctions. Can you remember? We're joining words together, and here we are going to choose because and and if. You are going to give me the ones. It's up to you. Right. Chevelle. Hello, ma'am. Okay, give it, please. I will give you my purse. Which one you choose? Because, and, or if? And you let me go. Okay. Can you try another one? Which word do you think can fit even better there to join the second part? Come, Chevelle. What if, what if you try that one? If you let me go. Yes, I think that sounds better. What do you think? Say it again and then you decide. I will give you my purse if you let me go. What do you think? it's fine. Ah, that's fine. Okay. Now, Luthandu, you do the next one. The car stopped fast and the robot turned green. Okay. Is there a, another one you can fit in that maybe sound a little bit more bit, better than that? More practical? Um, if... The car? Car stopped fast if the robot turned red. Which word can you fit in the... You stopped fast, B? Because. Because, yes. Because is the word that is the best fit there. Thank you. Thank you, Lusandu. Ntemba. Ntemba. Yes, ma'am. You're going to do the next one, Ingrid. Ingrid took the book and pay it at the team. Well done. The word that you can, you join it is and. That was correct. Thank you. Right. They, she was absent. Because. Because she was ill. Thank you, Ave. Okay. Now, you, what we did today was learning about joining sentences with some words. And we call it a conjunction. Okay. Well done so far. I think you've paid attention and you know. Now, just a few phonic words. Just a few phonics words that ending on IE. Like in die, die. Pie and lie. Okay, you see that? Words ending on IE for die, tie, pie, and lie. Right, that is it. Right, now let's see what's happening here. Oh, homework. Yes. Blessing. What can you tell us about the homework? Can you read the homework for us today, please? Yes, ma'am. What's going to happen for homework? Blessing is going to tell us the homework, everybody. Read our homework. What must we do? Ma'am, today's homework, we are going to be in the missing words in one of the lines. Yes, what do we call those words? What are we going to use? We are going to use the, what is that big word? What is that word? Conjunction. Good. Thank you. And now, 
Copano, can you tell the children the words that you're going to choose from the, all your conjunction? Read them from the block. Copano, I'm going to unmute you now. Okay. Hello, ma'am. Hello, Copano, read the words that are conjunctions in the block. As I read these sentences. You read it from the block. The word, the before, first one is before. before yes. Before, and then, if, once, while, because, but. Yes. Okay. Now, children, that's what you should do. Number one, I hope that you already did it. You have to take your phone out and take a snapshot. Because if you don't do that, you won't have the sentences here. Now, that's just what's going to happen. Complete. The sentences by using a conjunction from the box. These are the conjunctions. They are the joining words. Ne? Before, if, once, while, because, and but. Before, if, once, while, because, and but. You're going to choose those words to make the sentence complete. All right. That's your homework for tomorrow. Okay. And of course, after you've taken a photo, you must rewrite it. You must copy it in your exercise book with the correct answers, with the correct conjunction or the correct joining word that match and fits best. Okay. Now that's homework for today. Any questions? Any questions? Lufando, a question? Well, ma'am, I don't have a question, ma'am. Okay, then you are happy. I'm, then I'm happy too. And Blessing, do you have a question? Ma'am, I don't have a question. Okay, another one happy. Then you must um, put your hands down. And then, Kupano, have you got a question? No, ma'am. Okay, then it seems to me everyone is happy. As happy as can be. And with that, I'm going to give you the takeaway message. It's okay not to know, but it's not okay to not to try. It's okay not to know, but it's not okay to not try. Ma'am? Oh, yeah. What does this mean? It means if you doesn't know an answer, it's okay, but you should try it first. It's no good to say, I cannot, if you don't even take a chance on trying do you understand it now yes ma'am thanks for asking right my lovies and that brings us to today's end and we will see each other tomorrow at 12 again 12 o'clock again and then we will get on with learning goodbye and be good <laughs>